What's going on everyone? So today on Behind the Strings, we're going to be breaking down the franchise, which is the soundtrack that plays during the Mario vs. Sonic 1 Minute Melee episode. I put out a poll asking which song you guys want to see broken down in a video like this as far as some of the guitars that are being laid down, some of the other sounds that you might be hearing, other instruments, drums, all that good stuff. So this was a song that was chosen by you guys. The franchise came through with a ton of requests, so I really appreciate all that engagement. We're going to crack open the session file and I'm going to show you guys a little bit about what goes on during the franchise. Thanks for watching. Alright, so right here, this is the franchise. Um, this is what the whole session looks like. It, um, so if anybody is wondering what this actually is, this is Logic Pro X. This is actually the, the digital audio workstation. You might, have, you might hear that referred to as a DAW, but this is my preferred DAW of choice. There's a couple others out there. A lot of people use Pro Tools, some people use Cubase. Uh, a lot of folks might have Fruity Loops. Uh, FL Studio, as they call it, Ableton Live. There's a bunch of other ones, but this is what I use. Uh, I got into using Logic a little while ago when I started doing the solo thing, and it's been it's been a great asset to me ever since. So, this is it right here. So, the, the way I go about doing everything, um, a guitar track set up right here, a, a drum simulator. Uh, so this is actually how I go about making my drums. The episode loaded straight into the session right here, so I can kind of snap it to the timeline and as I'm making the music I can really make sure that I line up everything right on the you know on the drops on the hits on the punches line up all that cool stuff instead of having to you know have a video over here and then you know push play and then push play as soon as my song starts to kind of line it up this is actually a nice little tool to have in logic to where I can just snap it right into the timeline and kind of make the music to line it all up from there so the way I go actually you know what let's just take kind of take through the process sorry I'm jumping all over the place so a lot of times what I do is I go in and grab a guitar and what I do is I'll load up the animation that the guys at Hypergage sent me, whoever the animator is, and they'll send it to me raw, kind of just like this. So, you know, this is what you guys see. So this is kind of probably weird if you guys are watching this to see this animation with no, no music or anything in it. But, so that, that's just what I watch. So what I do is I check that thing out and I'll load up a guitar track. Just want to make sure I don't mess this up later. Let's kill this test. So I'll load up a guitar tone. Uh, I have all these kind of, I spend some time crafting a tone up here. All right, and so a lot of times what I do is I'll load up the, the animation just like this and I'll watch it. <laughs> and I'll just sit here hanging out watching it. And as I'm watching it, I'll just kind of play around, riff around, just... This is all due. And that's kind of how I go about just figuring out, oh, okay, what kind of melody am I going to put in here? Sometimes I do try to go for themes that are a little bit geared towards whoever is actually fighting. So. You know, obviously Sonic is in here, and I want there to be kind of some peppy, upbeat riff, something that's a little more upbeat since, you know, Sonic's going to be running around all over the place. That's why the whole thing uh, in the beginning starts with that little, that crazy you know, circus-style riff. I can actually break down a little bit as to what's going on in the beginning of that song. You will probably hear this crazy little riff here thing. Here I go. And I would just kind of... That's actually one of the first uh, little riffs of the song that I came up with was right in the beginning. I would just, I always like to have my songs kind of build up with a little bit of an intro, some kind of intro riff. I really like that kind of radio style FM intro as you guys might have been able to <laughs> catch on in a lot of my songs, uh, whether it was Clashing Egos or Legacy Champs. I like to start with that little kind of filtered effect with the main riff. So that's actually what I did here. So there's obviously, you know, a little bit of effect on here with kind of the... So how's that little bit like that kind of 
you know, static -y filter effect. So. A lot of my songs kind of start with that little theme, you know, just to kind of build some, just kind of build some tension, and then you know, just go for that big drop in there. So I kind of thought of that riff. That and then obviously goes into this crazy uh, pandemonium right here. Really all that is, is just, it's me doing the riff here, and this, I'll actually record just me and the click track. And so my drums, this is what they sound like by themselves. Go down to this cool little. So that is a melody that I came up here. What's also over playing over that are my two rhythm guitars, which are right here. So obviously um, there's a little bit more playing over that in the final mix, which are my two riffs playing over here, which are, let me solo these guys for a minute. This guy. Actually, I forgot the bass. <laughs> there should be a little bit more low end in that. I add a little bit of <laughs> wackiness. <laughs> I, oh my god, I love goofing around a little bit with, with my sound so much. It's probably too much, actually. I throw in a little bit of these, um, these uh, little 8-bit sounding harmonies and dynamic to that riff. Boom! And then that's where that big drop happens and Mario starts to get all crazy and <laughs> just end up beating someone's ass. So what I did is I just kind of messed with these little I guess spooky, eerie sounding guitar riffs. Right over here, when I did this little riff. <laughs> I, I was just having a little bit of fun and it kind of reminded me of one of those um, kind of underground Mario level levels where the lava's shooting up and all that crazy stuff, so. I thought that would be pretty fun since Mario all of a sudden, you know, went all crazy and just flame punched the shit out of Sonic right at the end there. So I thought that would be kind of fun to play, pay homage to that. So that is pretty much just me kind of riffing out like this. Just So I thought it'd be kind of fun to do something like that with the horns, uh, and boom. That is the franchise. This is what the session looks like. Um, I really, really, I really enjoy the fact that I get to show this to you guys. I think this is, for me anyway, it's really cool just to be able to show everybody a little bit of like, just how, kind of how this stuff all works and how it just all gets put together. and. Um, yeah, it's fun for me. I definitely want to break down more Woman in Melee songs in the future. So, uh, what I would like to do, uh, if you guys want to go ahead and drop down in the comments what song you guys might want to see next, 
um, maybe some questions that I can answer during the next breakdown video and you guys can uh, you know maybe just get a little bit more insight and some clarity as to kind of what all this stuff is um, and so if you guys are you know if any of you out there are aspiring music composers um, music producers you guys are kind of starting to dabble in the audio the audio world or just make beats what have you if there's anything on here that you might want cleared up if you guys have some questions um, or even if you guys want some tips or anything that I might be able to help you on um, with the knowledge that I have about Logic Pro, music, guitar, what have you, um, I would love to hear from you guys. Um, I am more than happy to help out if you guys have some questions, if you guys want me to help you out with some advice, or if you guys you know, just want some feedback, shoot me a message. I love getting emails and messages from you guys. Tweet me all that good stuff. I am here for you guys. I'm more than happy to help out. And I would love to hear from you. So there you go, guys. That is the franchise broken down. I will see you guys on the next episode. Catch you later. Peace out.